import a PDF into ARCHICAD, one thing you need to know is the difference between a raster PDF and a vector PDF. If you're trying to import a vector PDF, uh, it's not much of a problem. You load it up onto ARCHICAD, and then from there you can edit it and work off of that. As for raster PDFs, are a little bit different. Um, you can tell if a PDF is, uh, is raster uh, once you zoom in closely and then you see they have individual pixels. Vector PDFs are a bit different in that if you zoom in you don't really see pixels, the lines stay consistent. Now for raster PDFs you can't um, import them into ARCHICAD right away. Um, I mean you can but they won't be editable lines. So um, the best option for you to do uh, that can sort of uh, circumvent the manual tracing over if you're going to import it directly onto ARCHICAD is to use an automatic conversion software such as Scantacad. So we have a raster PDF loaded up on Scantacad here. First thing you want to do is clean it up a little bit by clicking on clean image, clean raster image here. You have a couple of options. Um, the thing you want to note is this threshold black and white option. It's grayed out because the raster PDF is already black and white, but if it's not, if it's not grayed out, that means that the um, image isn't completely black and white and you should tick that. We have a couple of clean image options here as well. If you have some speckles that sometimes appear when you scan um, hard documents, you can remove those by choosing this option here. Uh, in this case it's pretty clean so there's no need to, to click that. If you, have, if you have thin lines you can also thicken them and in this case if you have somewhat jagged edges like this one, um, you can click on smooth to make them a little bit better. Like so. So let's click on OK to execute the edits. The next step is to click on Convert Raster Image here. You can choose from different um, vectorization presets here. For this one, I'm going to choose Architectural since it's a floor plan. And, this and this, in this case, I'm also going to click on Vectorize and OCR because I also want to convert the text here into editable text. So once you click that, a new tab is going to pop up here. Just click there. You want to set the maximum character size by clicking on Select from Image, zooming in on what seems to be the largest text size here. I think it might be the room label, so I'm going to zoom into a random one. And then click and drag across the height of it to set the maximum character size. If you have any vertical or angular text, you also want to take those. So in this case, I don't want to take them because it's all horizontal. So with that done, I'm going to click on Run to generate a preview and see if it converts cleanly. It's pretty accurate. Uh, that's pretty good. You can actually see the original raster here and the converted vector here. You can also see both on the same window. Um, if you want to see them more clearly, you can click on Highlight Vectors to colorize the vectors to, sh to more clearly see the converted vectors on top of the original raster. So this looks pretty good and it's followed the lines pretty accurately. So I'm going to click on OK here to execute the conversion. Now that we have he this one here, the last step is just to click on Export here on the upper right. Choose the file format you want to use. Um, by default it's DXF, but you can also choose DWG or G-Code according to your needs. And then just name it whatever you want to name it. Raster PDF for ARCHICAD. And then I'm just going to click on Save here. A couple of last minute export options as well, but you can leave them um, uh, in their default settings for ARCHICAD. And then just click on OK to finally save the file. So um, with that, you can automatically convert any raster PDF into a vector file format that you can easily open and edit on ARCHICAD.